The following is a production by the Marine Biological Laboratory. Biological discovery in Woods Hole since 1888. I'm here because everyone I've ever met has told me that it's an amazing experience that's changed their scientific career. Who would have thought working in either a leech or a crab or, you know, a worm or a fly, you could learn so much. My name is Tim Wigan. I'm from University of Minnesota. When I'm at home, I work on larval zebrafish. Specifically, I'm looking at the way that the spinal cord controls locomotion. My name is Mitra Miri, and I'm from Austin, Texas. My PI, my, the principal investigator that I work for at Yale University, actually um, was a student in this course in 2000, and it was a very significant experience for her, and she wanted me to have the same experience. I think it's really easy to get sucked into the idea that the, the system you work on or the organism you work on is the most important or the only one or somehow the best. Um, and I thought that getting a chance to work on four different model systems doing four radically different things would help give me some perspective. Oh man, that's really difficult because I feel like it was even within cycles, it was hard to pick a module that I wanted to do. Each cycle has been like dying and being reborn. Um, the personality of the faculty has a huge effect on the learning experience. Um, and they've all been excellent, but in different ways. There was a day during the first module uh, when we were working on leeches. And my lab partner and I had set up all of our equipment, and we were getting all of our recordings in place. And suddenly, our equipment stopped working. And by the end of, uh, of five minutes, we had four or five PhDs in neuroscience with a combined like 100 years of experience standing next to our prep, pulling wires in and out of things, and teaching us how to troubleshoot those kinds of problems. I think one of the most surprising things has been really how, you know, PIs are humans too, because they're kind of these superstars you read about in Nature and Neuron and, and Journal of Neuroscience. But then when you get to, to meet them here at MBL, they kind of they open up, and you, you get to know them um, on a more personal level. I think that the thing that I'll take away from the course is probably a sense of adaptability. Um, and the, if things don't work out in the specific question that I've chosen or the specific organism that I've chosen, I know that I can switch to something else. Or if there's, if there's a question that I become really interested in but can't be answered in fish or can't be answered in whatever I'm working on, I'm really confident that I could switch to a different system that's more appropriate for answering my question. We're just given so many different opportunities to you know, bond with each other, bond with the TAs that come in to help us, bond with the professors. So when we are pursuing our own research in our own labs, you know, we'll call upon each other to collaborate and maybe just to get a beer at you know, Society for Neuroscience. Oh my gosh, if I'm ever lucky enough to have my own lab, <laughs> I would most definitely send my student here.